Come on, come at me, out my face. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Bowles and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, a fan-made remake of Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but in the glorious power of virtual reality. Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is arguably one of the most memorable and best, probably not the best, but most memorable Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm eager to see what this is going to be like in virtual reality. So without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the game! So here we are, this is like the main starting menu. Got a clock in the machine, it's Monday, you know what that means behind me. A oh, hi! How's it going? We got Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. Is that Mangle? I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> we're like in some sort of cupboard back alley thing. Off the bat, this is amazing. This really is. It feels just like the original if it was in 3D. Right, we've got to check in to begin. A bush? Oh, like that. How? Yeah! I did a thing! Woohoo! Oh, welcome back to the control room, security guard. Okay, so we've got. Oh, that's awesome. Phone. How do I do that? Oh, this is going to be bad. Wow, that's my wall. Literally, the button is my wall. Hang on, I've got to fix that. Hang on. Okay, that should be a bit better. That's a bit better. I still get to this side. Yep. Just about. Oh, there's the door. Goodbye. The door, door up. Thank you, door. Right. Okay. So welcome to the game, it's 12am, we have to survive until 6am and for those that didn't for some reason see Five Nights at Freddy's international hit suicide game. Right, woo! This control room! So what makes this so amazing is with the original, obviously you had a fixed position and well, you couldn't really see much of anything. Uh, power left, 99%, I got a drink, glug 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 glug, get out of here. Cobbywebs. This is night security at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Whoa. Yeah, that, that doesn't like life. Oh, have I got to hold that in? Aha, uh -huh, that's how we change cameras. Okay, so, oh, wait, 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 oh, hang on. Oh, God, the sparks flying above me and everything. That's so freaking cool. Okay, we got Chica there. I uh, got Bonnie in the canteen area. Uh, Foxy hasn't moved West Hall. This is actually way more difficult. Off the back, because at least with the main game, you can, like, quickly flip down, flip up your device, down again, and be like, boo, 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 boo. There's now a human delay because it's, it's literally like me having to integrate myself with the buttons. What's this? I can't... Okay. Poof. Why is there squatched up things? Ugh. Yes! I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, cupcake dude! Oh, I hit the wall again. How is it going, my little purple chum? Would you like to come with me? I shall put you in my backpack. Ah. Plot twist. I haven't got a backpack. Oh, there's a phone on my back. I can't reach it. My back drops in the way. Well, the phone guy would have been, hey, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I hope your very first day is a tremendous success. The previous security guards uh, did not board too well. So try not to get murdered and everything will be awesome. Okay, so this is only kind of a demo kind of thing. So uh, it's only got... Oh, they moved. Wait, where's the rules? Uh, I don't know which one I need to be more paying attention to. They're moving. I don't know if the sound is directional. I don't know if I can even lean down the side. I guess that would be cheating. Okay, this is only kind of like a demo proof of concept type thing. So it's only got nights one and two in the game right now. And it's already 2 a.m. Traditionally, night one has always been super simple. Nobody dies on night one because that would be stupid. The controllers aren't happy. East Hall. Corner of the East Hall. Oh, that's real close. That's, that sounds really close. Where are they? Okay, Chica hasn't moved. Where's Bonnie gone? Where's Bonnie gone? I might just wait for them to come to these freaking windows. Oh, I'm, I'm actually legit nervous. I, I haven't seen them in so long. That's so close. That's on this side. 
Okay, okay. This is legit nerve-wracking. This is like how I felt when I very first played Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, everyone's been there, everyone's done it. And as the series and franchise went on, it became more and more kind of tame. Yeah, Sister Location was quite a refreshing revival. But, none of them, maybe the one in the bedroom. That sounds super close, super close. Oh, hi, is that someone backstage? Oh God, oh God. Because I can lean around the corners, it really adds another dynamic of what the hell's back there? It's 3 a.m. You know what? Go away! <laughs> oh, you know what? And because the jump scares, I don't know if they're in your face or what, because it's VR, it's going to be right actually in my face. I might actually die. Whoa. Those lights. Ah! You! I can't close the door. There goes the backdrop. I just destroyed my room. Holy sh! You bastards! I destroyed my backdrop. <laughs> Hey, hey, it still kind of works. Oh, God. Oh, okay, is he moving? Uh. Okay, he's gone, he's gone. Panic over. Backdrop destroyed. What does that mean? I don't know what to do. That 3 a.m. is taking forever and ever. I wish you would hurry up. Please hurry up. <laughs> okay, I swear the sound is directional, so he's gonna be on my right hands. Why? What the hell? Chica got me. God damn it. Legit, that was freaking awesome. Legit awesome. One million percent awesome, even if it destroyed my backdrop. <laughs> Fixing my stuff. Fixing my stuff. Welcome back to night one, 12 a.m. Might fast forward this to the 3 a.m. portion of the level. There goes that telephone again, hang on. How's it going, mate? I'm your security guard. Hello. Hi. It's the same guy from before, shut up. Damn, boy. Look at this, it's Five Nights at Freddy's, the Atari game. That is atari -fic. Okay, so I have adjusted my play space, I can now reach this button but I can now kind of no longer reach the buttons over there. This means my play space is not big enough to play this game sufficiently. That is terrible. One second. Nope, I can't play this game. There's no way I can reach the buttons and this button without smashing my back drop down. Um, we shall do our best. That guy on the phone is still bloody talking. Uh, it's 3 a.m. everybody. It's harder to see. Okay, Bonnie's back in the canteen. Where's Chica Pika? Pika Chica, Chica Boo Boo. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't feel good. I don't feel good, damn it. Come on, come at me, out my face. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't do what I do, because I get killed. You're getting really close, really close. Not happy about any of this. Again, I'm getting flashbacks from the very first game, very first time. Why would you get a job here if this happens? Why would you come back tonight too? I don't care how bad you are for money. You just wouldn't do this. West Hall. Chick is in the canteen. The oh God, I'm dead. No! Blah, 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 blah. God damn it, Bonnie. I couldn't get even past level one night one thingy thing thing. Well, anyway, this is awesome. This is exactly... No, no, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Let me take the face off and we'll have a chat wherever you be. Hi, how's it going? So this has been Five Nights at Freddy's, a Five Nights at Freddy's 1 fan remake in virtual reality. It was surprisingly amazing fun. It's surprisingly good how well this works in virtual reality. The core cool game itself was obviously a landmark moment in VR gaming, I mean, and horror gaming, and you know, it spawned a legacy of many sequels and a massive underlaying of fan fiction and theory crafting. Um, seeing it in virtual reality adds a completely different tactile effect to it. It's just, 
I don't know, it heightens the scariness because you are literally there. You're not just a static screen poking buttons with a mouse cursor. You're actually reaching for those buttons. Those bodily movements are adding to the tension. And the, 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 the darkness is real, okay? Like when you're looking for that door and it's dark out there and you don't know what's in there, it actually, it, it really does amp up that frustration and anticipation of impending death. Now, I would love to see this as a fully fledged game. Nights only one and two are only available. There should be five nights in case you haven't got caught on to the series name. Anyway, um, I don't think I can go any further with this game simply because my play space is not big enough, which is sad. I know I can't reach all the buttons at one time, but I would say the one thing that makes it different and difficult is the security cameras because they're crucial to your survival, especially in the later nights. I mean, if you can remember back, like I think by night five, it's a case of kind of like spamming all of your buttons like in a nice little rhythm. Like flip up the camera, flip it down the camera, pushing button, pushing button, camera, camera, pushing button, blah, 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 blah. It's harder to see the monitors in the virtual reality because, I don't know, your face isn't quite up in the screen and it's got that little bit of distance to it and it's sparkly so it's got a little bit of fuzziness to it. I mean, it just makes it more real, I guess. But it just, it definitely makes it harder. And changing those, those channel buttons, I don't know, your hand can push through the button or slide off the button and that can make the camera disappear. But that, if anything, that just makes it realer and harder. And I welcome that. I hope the game tunes itself around that. I loved all the sparks coming off the roof as the power was kind of failing or struggling. There's a lot of good things to say about this. I highly recommend to check it out. It's free to download, free to play. There's a link in the description box down below. If you have enjoyed this, leave me a comment with your thoughts and opinions. I love reading them. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.